Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new, hello, welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, because I'm the flower that blooms at night, and Merry Christmas, bitch. I just really want to do an over-the-top Mrs. Claus kind of look, but put, like, my drag aesthetic spin on it and make it into Mrs. Hawes, because Santa Claus is definitely coming tonight. I just really, basically, want to play with makeup, play with red, play with festive colours, so, um, this is the transformation that I came up with. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below any other looks you want to see from me, and subscribe to our bitch, and hit that notification bell to tell you when I upload. There should be one new video every single Monday, 8pm Greenwich Mean Time, and... Let's just say I have quite a few interesting looks for New Year's, and then I have so many ideas and looks of stuff in January, so, um, there's gonna be more than one video a week, I hope, so, um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy the transmission, and thanks for watching. <sighs> Merry Christmas, bitch. So let's start off this festive Mrs. Hawes mess. So I'm starting off with a freshly cleansed and shaved face. And then for a little bit of hydration, I'm going to go in with my Mary Badescu facial spray. And then to prep my body, I went in with my Sally Hansen airbrush spray and mixed together the Mirage Glitter Drops from Cover FX. Just so I had like a nice little bit of a tan and my skin looked even and it was super glittery and gorgeous. And then for primer, I went in with my Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And then I used my Benefit Professional just around like my nose region just to hide those unsightly pores. I then colour corrected my beard area since um, it's a drag look, Mrs. Claus, you know, 5 o'clock shadow doesn't go with that. And then I went in with my super full coverage Cryline TV paint stick. I do have a full coverage highlight and contour routine which I will leave down below just to save a little bit of time but pretty much super heavy full coverage makeup and then heavily set in place with powder. And then just quickly filled in my brows off camera and then it's time for the eyes. And I'm using the Desi and KE Frankation palette again, I know, but girl, I absolutely love this palette. And then just buff that nice warm tone kind of transition colour all through my crease, mainly focusing on my outer V and really winging it back towards my temples. And then took the slightly deeper warm tone brown and did that exact same thing, but keeping it a little bit more concentrated on the outer V of my eye. And I just kept blending and buffing and just really making this smoky and dramatic. Like, the look went a lot more smoky than I had intended, but, um... I was kind of living for it. I then took that like nice maroony ready brown shade and just did those same steps just to add a little bit of more red to the look and concentrate a little bit of that onto the inner portion of my brow just so when I carve out my crease it just looks a little bit more defined. I then just took a little bit of concealer and carved out my eyelid space and I did obviously an exaggerated drag kind of eyelid shape. I don't follow my actual crease. I take it a lot higher and bigger to fake the illusion that my eyes are larger. And then just slightly set that down with a little bit of powder and deepened it again with that deeper maroon red shade. And I basically just kept buffing and blending those colours out to make like a super sultry and smoky look. I then just threw on some winged liner and set that down with some black eyeshadow just so it didn't budge around too much. And then I also slightly smoke it out since my eyeliner is never even so smoking it out with a little bit of black shadow helps a lot. I then took just a kiss which is a gorgeous like shimmery kind of colour. Like it doesn't have too much base pigment. It's kind of just like a loose glitter and oh my god I thought it was so pretty. I smoked out my lower lash line using that same maroony red shade and then just lightly buffed over it with that first initial transition colour just to make everything look nice and smoky. And then for a little bit of gold glitter, I took the Stila Golden Goddess glitter pigment thing and just popped it on the kind of lower lash line area and then heavily contoured using my Makeup Revolution Highlight and Contour Kit. I wasn't going to chisel out my features this much, but since the eyes were quite dramatic, I thought I needed to kind of balance it out by doing a little bit more of a severe face and breast contour. And then for blush, I went in with this oldie but a goodie sleek blush palette, and this red is so pigmented, so I was like, oh girl, I use a fan brush. Um, yeah, don't use a fan brush to apply blush, it just left like a really red stripe on my face, so yeah, I use a lot of blush, and I love blush when I'm in drag, you don't have to go that heavy, but um, it's 
winter and festive, so I want it to be really flushed. For highlight, I use my ColourPop Flexitarian Highlighter, literally my all-time favourite, Glowing Goddess, Pharamone kind of level highlighter. It's beautiful. And then for my lips, I line them initially using BH Cosmetics Delight, which is a gorgeous true red, and then filled in using Steamy from Morphe. And then while my lips were still like a little bit kind of tacky and sticky from the lipstick and lip liner, I just packed a little bit of red glitter on it just for that extra glamour and over-the-topness. And then yeah, all you gotta do is throw on lashes, a wig, and some rhinestones, and that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this transformation, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for bloopers.